I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call the exercise Random Pulls because we're going to pull 28 and 27 random tiles in three separate iterations. And we're going to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. We're playing two hands, so we're going to look for two different ways to leverage the tiles we get, hopefully building around multiples. If you have a set of tiles at home, I hope you give this exercise a try. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We are going to get 28 and 27 tiles, respectively, for three random pulls. And then we're going to practice identifying the strength in those dealt hands. We have a joker, two flowers, west and south, pair of wests. In cracks, we have one through seven singles. In dots, we have one through six, eight and nine, pairs of threes and eights. In bams, we have one, four, five, eight, pair of fours. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would try a pair hand with these flowers and three, four consecutive tiles and then five through nine consecutive run. This plan would leave us with eight discards. We could maybe hold these for joker bait and see if our opponent is playing wins. Let's see. I was thinking about twos, because for the pair hand, I was thinking three, four, but we, we don't have three bams. We could also maybe do two, three and then use the fours up here for four through seven. I think this is better though, going with three, four down here, if we can fill that gap. Three, four, three, four, three, four. And then up here, maybe five through nine, one suit. But since we have an incomplete run, I would hold all five through nine to give me flexibility with mixed suits. So I would start by discarding these. Five through nine, three, four pair hand. Wow, look at that. We've got three flowers and all these dragons, pairs of white, green, and a single red. That's awesome. I would play a dragon hand probably. Okay, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine in cracks, three jokers, north and west, two, three, six in bams, one, two, four, five, seven in dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first discards? I think what I would do is play a year hand with dragons and then a consecutive run tile using two, three, four.
We could do news with dragons too, so I would hold those. I think this is how I would play it. Either a year hand with dragons or news with dragons. We really don't need this extra flower, but I would hold it anyway. We could maybe play like numbers with twos and dragons. Or if we build up a multiple, we could maybe even try for a quint with all these jokers. But I was thinking about the fifth hand down under consecutive run for the remaining tiles. Because we got to play two hands at once here. Here's two, three, four, five Kong, six Kong, two suits. We need to build up these. These are pairs. Well, they would need to be pairs. Right now they're singles. So we have a lot of work to do, but we can use these jokers to help here. I think that's what I would do here. Year hand with dragons, news with dragons, maybe like numbers with twos, because we have the right dragons right there. We just have to build up the twos. And then two, three, four, five, six. So that plan gives us seven discards, which is good. I try to do a plan where we have eight tiles or less. Look at all these tiles. Oh my gosh, this is interesting. We have three flowers, news with a pair of wests. We have a red dragon and a pung of white dragons. Here's a pung of four cracks, pair of seven crack and a single eight. Then we have one, four, seven, eight in bands, one, four, six, seven in dots with a pair of sixes. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? I think if these were my tiles, I would probably play news with dragons. News with dragons. You might think, why not play a pair hand? We don't have a run. We've got seven, eight, six, seven, but it's short. So I think I would rather go for a quick win, maybe a pure hand with dragons. The other thing I was thinking is that we could do a quint if we can get jokers. We could Kong the dragons and you really don't need a joker for a quint of flowers because we have eight flowers in a set. We would need one joker for this quint minimum. So that's the other thing I was thinking. And then with the remaining tiles, I thought a potential would be six, seven, six, seven, eight concealed. Six, seven, I know there's a gap, six, seven, eight. But I would keep all consecutive tiles, six through eight. And I would start by discarding those and see what comes in. We could keep the four because we could maybe play like numbers with fours. We'd have to discard the dragon. So I would start by discarding those. This would be fun to play out. This is gonna take work. This one has options with a big option of a quint if we can get jokers.
we have a joker flowers to west all the dragons with a pung of green dragons single white single red in cracks we have two four five six in bands we have four five eight nine pair fives in dots two three four five six nine pairs of three five six nine if these were your hand if these were your hand if these were your tiles what would you focus on and what would be your first discards if these were my tiles i think i would try for a pear hand with dots and a quint because of the pung of green dragons i also thought an, of two different pair hands though that could be played and we could still do the quint this will take fancy footwork because we're going to need flowers up here that would be the quint we need to build flowers the nine we could kong that green but we also need flowers down here for a pear hand four or five pear hand no gaps the other pear hand that i was thinking about two through six with dragons five numbers in a sequence sequence of five with pear dragons really were two tiles from ready on that if that were the hand to play here we would need to recover up here we could perhaps play something consecutive with four or five dragon or we could do four five six opposite dragon but the white dragon we need down here for the quint or for the pair hand so this would be a challenge the other thing i was thinking we could maybe do a dragon hand with the year but again we're using that white dragon down there I also was thinking about 369. 369. There's a lot of possibilities with this hand. If we were to play 369, then maybe we could do 45456. 45456 four, concealed. But look at all these discards including a pung of dragons i would really like to use those dragons maybe what we could no because see we want these for a pair hand maybe that's kind of when you play this game whoever has the most points is going to win in the end so if you play at least one big hand you have a higher likelihood of winning that particular game and that's why i was thinking about this pair hand but we got to recover with something else so maybe a quint if we can get flowers maybe four or five dragon if we can get a three or a six If we could get build up four or five dragon and white dragons or jokers, we could go four, five, six offsuit dragons. So I think considering that, I think I would discard those first. Try to make this the focus. Maybe play a quint if we can get flowers 
we could always use this or that as joker bait. If you want to know more about joker bait, there are videos that demonstrate that concept. It's basically where you hold pairs that you don't need, hoping that your opponent might need them. And then in the middle of the game, you discard one. Hopefully they make an exposure with the joker and then you use the other one to get that joker. When you play online at SiamesMahjong.com, you have two minutes to make your initial decision on what to play. That's why I like to do random pulls. It gives you an opportunity to practice identifying the strength in your dealt hand. If you have a set of tiles at home, give it a try. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.